Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, what are we talking about? My empties from February. I never do empties. So this is my first time. Joan Kim here kind of inspired me to do these, so I figured I would try it out, see how you guys would like it. And if you haven't checked out her channel, make sure you check it out over here. I started putting everything in like this bag, all the stuff that I've been finished using. So I pulled out all of the Korean uh, beauty stuff. And so that's what we're going to talk about. The first thing is the Face Shop CC Cushion Ultra Moist. Um, this is just the refill packaging, but um, this cushion, I swear to God, like has restored my faith in the Face Shop. They recently revamped their whole um, image, um, their products and stuff. And I tried out their Ultra CC Cushion and it's like one of the best cushions out there. Now I'm going to make a video about all the cushions that I have, but for now, giving you sort of like a mini review. Um, the CC Cushion Ultra Moist mm, cushion I have in natural beige is SPF 50 and the finish that this has is very similar to the Innisfree um, Ampule Intense cushion. I never remember the name of that. But it gives you super dewy glow. The coverage is really good for evening out the skin tone and it's one of you know my favorite probably like top three cushions out there on the um, cushion market so check this out if you haven't. Um, I finished the Claire's Gentle Black Sugar Face Polish. This was sent to me, I tried it out. I really enjoyed it, however I really think that the Skin Food Black Sugar Scrub or any of the Skin Food ones are um, better in terms of like cost and like how much you get anyway. Um, for how much this is, you don't get that much. Whenever I used it, I would always like dig into it because I like to, you know, cover my whole face. You're supposed to use them like on moist skin, but I feel like if there's um, too much water in your skin, it kind of just dissolves into nothing. So I like to put like a crap ton on. And if I feel like it's too harsh, then I'll add a little bit of water, massage it in, and um, yeah, it's a really good scrub, but um, just go with the Skin Food one because you get way more for your, you get more bang for your buck, is that what? Yeah. Next is one of these refill cushions. Um, this is the IOPE um, Air Cushion XP and C21. I think the C series is uh, supposed to give you more coverage or something. But um, I love, love, this is also in like my top three. The IOP cushion gives you really good coverage. It looks like skin, it's very elastic. I like to describe um, foundations and cushions as elastic because they kind of really blend into your skin, but it creates like a sort of film over your skin. It adheres really well to the skin, but it doesn't like cake up or it doesn't like, you know, settle into the fine lines of my uh, skin. It glides over pores and I wish they had more colors for this um, so more people could try it. But, um, you know, it's Korea. They have like, what, two, three shades. I much prefer this over their IOP uh, Men Air Cushion because this one hits all the check marks for what I find or look for in a cushion. So the IOP one is really fantastic. If you're going to choose uh, between this one and the Face Shop because this one is a little bit more pricey, um, I'll probably just go with the Face Shop because I, I think they're both great. But if you're feeling fancy, then go with the IOP one. If you've seen her in my Snapchats or like one or two of my videos, my coworker Tara, her and I like to go to skin food a lot together, so uh, she picked up this lettuce and cucumber water mist, uh, but she didn't like it because it kind of made her skin itch or something, but um, I tried it and I really like it. Um, you know when I use mist, I like to like douse my face, so I, I use this up in about two weeks, but um, the mist is super super fine, um, and it actually leaves your skin feeling moist. My benchmark for like a good mist is that it doesn't leave your skin feeling like dehydrated again because a lot of times, you know, you'll spray your face and like it just evaporates and like you feel like you need to put more. But this one um, is pretty decent. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of small for being a mist and it doesn't really last that long. So um, I'm just going to get this out of the way because it's like sitting in front of me and like I want to just get um, through this. But it's the Troy Adoke, um Recovery Series. Um, if you've seen my first skin plastic surgery experience video, this is the skincare I used. After I got in the Troy Pill treatment, which I highly recommend you checking out, I have a video up here about it. This is the skincare that they gave me for use afterwards um, for helping my skin recover faster. Um, I've got the Skin Complex Formula, which is like a mist. I have the PIT Cleansing Melt, which is a cleanser, really gentle. And I have the AGT Hydro Essence, which um, is kind of like a very gel-like essence. Um, that you can use it as a mask, you can use it as your moisturizer. And I have the Troy Peel Laser Cream, which is also kind of like a skin moisture sort of cream. You can also put it on top of your cheekbones, you know, like the highlight areas to give your face like really natural looking glow. These are like not full sizes, so I did go through them pretty quickly. And when I do uh, do the Troy Peel treatment, I use quite a bit of each one when I'm using it. But this is like very high quality skincare and 
Um, of course, my, made my skin look really good and it helped me with the recovery process. The Troy Pill recovery process doesn't take that long. Um, I'm, the down, down time is only like, what, two days? Uh, but this helped, you know, make it go smoothly. Yeah, I don't know, I have nothing else to say about that. Um, it's really good skincare if you can get access to it. If you're in Korea, check Troy Peel out. You will not regret it, especially if you're in the market for like lasers or skin treatments to help like acne, scarring, all that. If you've seen my video about uh, skincare for oily, acne prone, sensitive skin, um, you've seen me talk about um, these Troy Adica skincare products. I finally finished using up the oil cut cleanser. Um, this is supposed to be able to remove eye makeup and lip makeup. It does, but you need to use quite a bit. So I did run out of this one much quicker than like the other things in the line. And also I finished up uh, one of these accent recovery creams. Um, I'm on my second bottle of this. This stuff is the skincare product that like filled out a lot of my uh, acne scarring, like the pitted acne scarring on my cheeks and my temples. Still got a long way to go, but it's the Centella Asiatica, is that how you say Asiatica, that's in it that really helped my skin recover from any scarring, from any, any general skin damage that you have on your skin, scars, fresh wounds, all that. Um, this is the stuff I love to slather this on. I don't go, you know, I don't put like a tiny bit and like dab. I like slather it on my face and it makes me feel young and beautiful. And, uh. Oh, here's another mist. Um, this is the Innis Free Green Tea Mineral Mist. This is like my third bottle of this. I love the fineness, fineness, like the very, the mist is really fine. And this bottle like lasts a long time, even though, you know, I like to drown myself in mist. Um, and also this is one of the mists that actually leaves your skin feeling moist and moisturized well after using it. It's not one of, like I mentioned, it's not like one of those ones where you spray it and like kind of just dissipates and your skin feels like a little bit tighter afterwards. So it's not just like water on your face. <laughs> and beyond. If you're looking for a mist, this is this is where it's at in this free. This is another thing from Innis Free. Uh, this is the Forest for Man Smart Scalp Shampoo. This is the Innis Free Smart Scalp Shampoo. Um, this is part of their Forest for Men line from Innis Free. This is always on sale. It's like dirt cheap. It's like what, four, seven, four to seven dollars. Back when I had like black brown hair, I would only use like cleansing conditioners. But like once a week, I would like to use this because this is quite a harsh shampoo. So um, after like a week of only using cleansing conditioners, my hair would start, there would be like buildup in my hair but this like really uh, made my hair feel clean. It's meant to remove like hair wax and hair products for men and all that, but um, you know, if you're one of those guys that likes to use hair wax and all that, this stuff really gets it out. I like to use one pump just to like get it going in my hair because I like, I notice how, especially when there's hair products in my hair, there's not really much of a foam. So I'll rinse the first wash out and then I'll go in with one more, you know, just one pump and then I'll concentrate it at the scalp and that really foams up and stuff. So um, this is a good general shampoo if you're, you know, into that kind of thing. I don't really use this now because I have gray hair. I use purple shampoo, but um, you know, when I didn't have gray hair, this was where it's at. I don't like to use conditioner for after I shampoo because I feel like it's just silicon and dimethicone. So I really like to use um, hair mask as conditioner. This is the Nature Republic Argan Essential Deep um, Care Hair Pack. And like, I, this is, I swear, like my fifth or sixth um, bottle of this. This is like the perfect, um, I guess, conditioner to use as a conditioner, even though it's like a hair mask. It leaves your hair feeling really soft and silky, but not like greasy. You know, your hair has a bit of slip to it after you shower. It doesn't feel like brittle and like frizzy after you get out of the shower. So this is like highly, you know, top, you know, top 10 product right here of all Korean products I've ever bought. I need to actually finish this, but I just wanted to throw it out because it's been sitting in my collection for a while. It's the Skin Food Royal Honey Glow Foundation. This is what got me started in like the whole glowy skin thing, but the formulation on it is like really, it breaks down really quickly on the face. So I'm glad that they replaced it with a new um, Propolis Serum in Foundation, uh, which I do have a review on. So yeah, this is also a pump style. Unless you have really dry skin with no fine lines and you live in a cold climate, um, I wouldn't even bother using this. Um, they probably, I don't think they sell it anymore either, I think. But oh, whatever, I'm throwing it out. I finally, finally finished the Clean It Zero from Vanilla Co. This is the large size. And like, this is cleansing bot. This is one of my top. If you need to remove makeup, eyeliner, lips, foundation, this takes care of everything. Joan got me on this shit. I've always been into cleansing bots, but they never really showed up in Korea. And then when this came out, Joan Kim got me onto it. Um, have not looked back since. 
uh, and ever, ever since then, a lot of other brands have been coming up with cleansing bombs. So uh, if I'm not using cleansing oil, it's this stuff right here. This is also another one of the things that have kind of been sitting in my collection, but I like never use it anymore. So I'm just gonna throw it out. It's the Dear Girls Cute Eyes Maker from Etude House. Um, it's one of those double-ended like egg yosai maker things. I just never use this because it doesn't like back when egg yosai, like making egg yosai was like a big thing. This is like what I wanted to use, but um, the pigmentation was kind of like whatever. It doesn't last very long on my eyes at least. And I also have a bunch of eyeshadows I like, use to give me the same effect. So um, I don't even think they make this anymore. So uh, throwing this out. And then last but not least is also one of my top, have I been saying top three? Well, let's say, let's make it top five. My top five uh, cushions. This is from Too Cool For School. It's the Dino Plots La Ola um, cushion BB cream. And rather than like a cushion, it's actually more of like a um, cream foundation. Um, I have a refill on this, uh, but this cushion does come actually with like a little slip out um, compartment that has like a highlighter, a blush, and like a concealer. So if you are looking for a cushion that kind of gives you a full face in one thing, I would definitely go with the um, this stuff. They do have like a cushion, an actual cushion version. But I do prefer this one because you can um, kind of customize the coverage because it is a cream foundation BB cream. Um, you can give yourself light coverage, just kind of dab it on like high points of your face or like wherever you have redness and then kind of blend it out with the puff. Or you can give yourself more fuller coverage by, you know, like really going in at it. And it looks super natural, it glides over pores. Uh, it, kind of, it can settle in lines unless you powder it. So if you're oily, I would do that because it gives you kind of a glowy finish. And the highlighter is one of my favorite highlighters in there. The blush looks super natural. You can also use it on your lips. And the concealer is actually really good. It actually matches the foundation. So you don't have to go scrambling for, you know, another concealer that will match your uh, BB cream or foundation. Honestly, though, you can actually just use like the BB cream itself to conceal things because it works like double duty. But, you know, the addition of another concealer that's more, a little bit more hard in texture is a good thing. So that is all I have for this month's um, empties. I might not have as many empties next month, but uh, we'll see. I hope you found that video useful, enjoyable, or informative. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat down below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah.